stinker. <laughs> Jesse! <laughs> you little stinker! <laughs> to another episode of Chronicles and a Farm Stay Startup here at the Hidden Spring Farm. I'm just hanging out here with my chickens. I don't know what they're up to. They're just roaming around. Got a big day planned ahead of me. We just had a guest check out. So we got a lot of cleaning to do in the farmhouse. I gotta get working on my duck hut. That duck hut, it's turning into be a monument here on the farm. I'm loving it so far. It's coming together. I gotta work on the stairs in the front of the duck deck and I'm gonna be putting up some walls today and ooh, it's coming together. As I'm talking to you right now, some of the chickens are pecking at my shoes. They think it's food. <laughs> hey, stop that. I'm YouTubing. Yeah, we see what these, uh, the antics of these chickens today. We're gonna check in on them, of course. I gotta feed the ducks and give them fresh water and so on and so forth. I finally get my delivery, uh, the mule trailer. I ordered a, a trailer for the mule so that I can go and collect uh, firewood for the winter. So uh, I'll show you a little bit and I'll try to get it assembled. For those of you who are just tuning in to the channel, my name's Chad, and my wife and I bought this farm, hobby farm, and we turned it into a farm stay. And so far, we've had the vacation rental open for three weeks, and we're doing pretty good. Can't really complain. Um, a lot of cleaning involved, but uh, we're getting used to it. We're slowly getting used to it. We got ducks here at the farm. We got chickens here at the farm. We got chicks. You can meet uh, Molly, the old English sheepdog puppy. If you're just checking out our channel, welcome. Welcome. And don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead right now, click that button that says subscribe. Then click that little bell symbol that'll give you the notifications as soon as we upload a new video. And you'll have to stay tuned and subscribe to see what's going on here at the Hidden Spring Farm. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the episode. It's gonna be a fun day at the farm, so let's get it on. Let's go. So I'm gonna try to get an early start on the duck area today. Gotta do work on the stairs to the duck deck got the, the stringers in. I just have to do the, the steps itself. See? I got these these metal metal uh, stairs from the hardware store. I just need to rip these down and I get to use my new table saw which is a pretty cool so I'll give you a show of that once I get it set up, okay?
Look at that smooth cut. It's beautiful. Check out my new tool. It's a Bosch. Bosch. Look at this thing. Look at this ATV stand it comes with. You can adjust the height. You can adjust the angle. You can adjust. This is like a fence. You can adjust it. It's uh, pretty awesome. I must say it just cut that first piece of wood pretty nice. So you can see I need to cut this wood so that it's level with the stair tread. Because when I put when I put it, it's like a little bit too high. So I got to do that for all of them and then I'll be done. Okay, I got a second here that Molly's not around. She's not gonna attack my legs. She's always trying to herd me. Oh no, she's over there. Do you see her? Right there. Look at her. As soon as I start walking towards the duck hut, she's gonna get up and chase me. See, look at this kid. Look at this kid. You coming to get my legs? I have a new technique though. I walk around with a stick. You know like at the circus, those lion tamers, they used to use a chair. Oh, she ha! Now Simba! Stand! Stand Simba! Ready? So now, now I just get the stick and I hold the stick so she can't attack me. It's pretty sad that my own pup wants to attack me. I'm such a nice guy. I feed her, I play with her, I bathe her, I give her treats, I train her. She should be happy to have me as an owner. Uh-oh, she's wanting to get into the duck hut. Malay, you want to get into the duck hut? Sit. Sit. High five, high five. Good girl, Molly. Hey, you can't come in though, okay? Molly, you can't come in. Just me, okay? You understand? Looks like a little branch came down in the storm yesterday. Hello! 
little ducks. Ducks get ready to rumble! Molly, be nice. Be nice.
I finally broke down and got myself a framing nailer. I figure I'll be doing so many projects here on the farm. It's a time saver. I mean, you just tack, tack, tack and you're done. I kind of feel like I should have bought this many years ago with all the things I've been doing over my life. Um, but anyways, it is what it is. I'm happy I got it now and I'm gonna put these walls up in no time. You can see I'm not making the side walls very tall. These are only 32 inches because the look I'm going for is a complete A-frame which has a very steep roof. So the roof line is going to come down to about here and it's just going to go like a, a very tall peak, as tall as I can get it. I have uh, some 12 foot long beams that I'm going to use. and. Um, you know, that's, that's the look that I'm going for anyways. It's like a whimsical, cool cabin feel to it. Not your typical duck house, that's for sure.
Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, break after that. Oh, man, you get so used to me to power tools when you want them to use a manual, you just can't do it. Hey guys, I'll just want to give you a little quick update as to how my day is going. It looks like it's going to pour down rain in a minute, so I want to pack up all my gear. I don't want any of my new tools to be getting soaking wet. So you can see, I got all the, the walls done, except for the front. I got the stairs done. It's looking good. It's coming along. It's coming along pretty good. Can't complain. See, got the stairs done. They look good. Let's get up these stairs. My new framing nailers working out awesome because it's just so quick. So these are the walls. I got a little hole cut out there. That's where I'm going to put some hardware cloth and I'll frame it in. And then that's where the water will go for the ducks. I'm going to make myself a little trap door there to open up so that I can just access the water from that side. That's going to be the duck door for them to enter and exit out onto the party deck. And then this little opening here, that's going to be another door that will allow me to either put a wheelbarrow there or back up my, my mule trailer. And, uh, you know, I'll be able to just sweep everything up out here and then just shovel it. Thought that's really a good idea. I don't want to put these yet because I don't know the dimensions of the door that I want to put. It'll probably be 32 inches. Um, but I don't need those right this second anyhow. So we'll see. Tomorrow, big day. I'm going to start creating the roof structure. And creating the roof structure is really difficult when you don't have plans. But that's me. Leave it up to me to come up with these crazy schemes. I'll get through it. Once I get the angle, the, the right angle of the two pieces in a, in a peak, once I get one of them the way I like it, the way I want it, then I'll be able to, to do them all like that. I'll probably do like 16 inch on center. I want it to be a, a decently strong structure. It's going to have a shingled roof. It's not going to have a metal roof. Just a shingled roof because I like the look of shingled roofs. Um, plus it's in the woods here. It's, I think it'll the, the black charcoal roof will look really good. Anyway, that's it. Till next time. See ya. That's it. You're done. You get out of here, bad girl. What are you doing? What are you doing?